Log number 11, resources. So in any place that you have, you have resources that you can use to help you do your work. You know, this resource is used for that, that tool is used for this, resource tools are synonymous, but resource sounds cooler, so we're using that one. And um, there are some resources that are available to us as help desk agents that make a lot of sense, but don't necessarily work. Case in point. There are some people within the help desk area, and this is specifically with, I think, any help desk, you have, they have the special specializations there, specialized people there, SMEs, subject matter experts. Basically, they're experts on the system. They're not necessarily too shabby on anything else, but they're experts on that one system. So if you want them to go ahead and help you with the thing, like say you get some complicated problem that shows up often, then they say, hey, SME, can you help me with this? Like, oh yeah, sure, I'm a subject matter expert. I got your back, I can tell you this. But, but those subject matter experts are also people and the thing people like to do is get busy when you need them the most like you're on the call with the user <clears throat> and the user's like hey can you help me fix this thing and I'm like yeah you know sure I can help you fix this thing and uh, the user tells you this complicated situation like crap my SME knows what that is so you go to your SME hey hey person who's supposed to be a subject matter expert and supposed to help me out in these specific situations can you help me out in this specific situation and the SME's all like no nah. I'm too busy, I can't help you right now. And then you look at what the SME is doing and they're playing solitaire, so it's like, okay. All right, anyway, so that's the one resource. Another resource that we all have, and I think any organization that works in the tech world has, is the knowledge-based search, or KB articles, knowledge-based articles, whether it's Google, whether it's your own specialized system, maybe you share systems with another group, uh, it doesn't matter, KBs, knowledge-based articles, those are like the lifeblood of troubleshooting. Basically, they are, explanations on how to fix things that you never heard of is basically the Wikipedia of troubleshooting but it's not the Wikipedia of troubleshooting and the reason why is because there are a lot of times where that KB source that resource is so great and so grand like oh use a KB it'll, it'll save your life it'll teach you everything you need to know and there are a lot of times where what exactly what you're looking for it's either doesn't exist and nobody's ever thought to make a KB for it, or it does exist, but you don't have the permission to see it. Case in point, there was one time I was working with a user, we had a very complicated issue. Long story short, something with the windows, I don't remember what it was, but it was some complicated issue. And um, I had to basically search in our specialized high speed tech system and uh, look into the KB and I found the KB, I found the exact KB I was looking for, it said the title like, this is your user's problem, it basically said that, it had my name written on it, it had the user's name written on it, it had us in it, it involved us, it knew us before we knew it. And then I click on to open up because I want to read the steps to help fix the issue. And it says, you don't have permission to view this. Please reach out to your line manager. It's like, oh my god, why is this even here? This is like, uh, this is, uh, this is, I just got catfished by a knowledge base article. I don't know what to, okay, so resources, um, there's also one last resource I want to talk about, and uh, that's the resource of your general computer, so there's also an ironic thing in help desk work where your user calls in and they want you to fix their issue and help help you or help them fix their issue in a relatively speaking timely manner, and your managers want you to do that in a timely manner too. But, we all know the golden rule that the more you want something fixed, the faster you want to fix, the slower everything in the world goes. I don't know how many times I've been trying to help a user, and it's like, okay user, I know how to fix your issue perfectly, I just need to wait for this thing to load. And the user's like, okay, and then you know, 40 minutes later, alright user, finally loaded, and you're just like, what? Why'd that take so long? You guys are the help desk, you're supposed to have the high tech so high speed system, blah blah blah. And I'm like, look user, my computer's worse than your computer. Actually, probably four of your computers, I'm oh, sorry, four of my computers are equal one of your computers. And then the user's all like, oh, yeah, I understand, this place is crap, I know. So, yeah infrastructure investment if you're a manager and you listen to this or you're the person who buys things for help desk please invest more in the help desk we, we need money to help us buy cool things like better computers to help service you anyway that's, that's enough of my that's enough of my plea all that aside resources are the lifeblood of everything there's so many different resources and it's always funny how they can always not work it, it's always funny how resourceful it makes you become as an agent because you got to figure out creative ways to fix things so all right all that aside, we're gonna cut it there, and uh, yeah, right. <laughs>